Hey, good morning, YouTube. It is your girl, just Kiki87, coming at you. And today's video is going to be my uh, super late, I know y'all, forgive me, labor and delivery story. Now, I will be breaking uh, it up into a three part, and that's because my phone, this phone, I have y'all guys know I got my um J7 Prime phone fixed, and the only thing that I don't like about this phone is the uh time on the camera it like you get to a certain time and it cuts off i don't know if my but you know what then again maybe because i got a lot of videos and pictures on my phone so i may have to go digging in there and erasing some stuff to fix that issue but anyway because of that due to that i'll be breaking this up into a three-part series plus a little long and i want to give y'all the deets so yes kalani is two months old she will be three months um, on the 25th of this month, she was born July the 25th, 2018, weighing 5 pounds and 12 ounces. Tiny little thingy. As a matter of fact, she's over there behind me sleep on my bed. But, um, yes. But first, before I jump right into the story again, I wanted my i wanted a whole setup for when i tell my labor and delivery story i wanted my makeup to be slayed i wanted my hair to be done not in a crazy bun like it is but you know what having an infant is a full-time job and i just can't be doing all that i just gotta give it to y'all raw like i always do but for that i just really wanted a setup i hope you guys understand but anyway i'm gonna try to cut this video off off at 10 minutes and then take then upload this, do part two, and then, you know, so on, so on. You guys get the gist. But, yeah, anyway. So, yeah. Let's get started. Um, let me see. Where do I start? This is another reason why this video is going to be crazy long and a three-part series. Not series, but a three-part. But, um, yes. I gave birth, like I said, on the 25th of July. And, let me see. The last video I made before I you know, went into labor and gave birth. That video is called Still Very Much Pregnant. Now, if you guys watch that video, or if you have not, if you haven't, please go and check it out because you'll get a better understanding of what I'm about to say. And if you have, then you, you're you going to get it. But, um, yeah, so in that video, the very last video I made, I was actually having contractions in that video and you can tell well at the time i didn't think of it as a contraction but obviously it pretty much was and that video was oh my gosh i think it was either a couple of days before i went into actual labor um yeah or a week it's either a couple of days or a week either way i was having contractions in that video and i remember saying in the video i think these are breast and hicks but it was getting beyond that but yeah anyway um in that video you can tell that i'm having a contraction because i'm holding the phone up talking to you guys but i'm also like this <sighs> taking that breather just trying but it was hurting really bad oh my gosh you know the the awesome thing about i'm all over the place forgive me guys but i just have to say this is just coming to my heart but the awesome thing that i'm so glad that i did was you know make pregnancy update videos throughout my pregnancy i'm so happy that i did it because now at this point i mean at this time right now i can go back and look at it and i have been i've been looking at my pregnancy vlogs i'm like damn i was in pain like oh i was huge like i was you know i look and say those things but um yes yeah, so anyway let's get to the point of the story but yes yeah, so that night well, early morning because she came at what I want to say about five or six in the morning or something like that. But either way, she came that God. But that night, for some reason, well, let me start off by saying this my bae, who I love so dearly, works a lot and he works super early. And I'm gonna always appreciate that. I know you're probably watching. But anyway, um, he goes to work crazy early in the morning. I'm talking about when everybody's still sleeping on our block type of shit. But uh, he, uh, he works, he gets up for work at 3 o'clock in the morning. You hear me? In the morning. 
and it takes from our house to his job takes an hour. So he has a drive every morning. You know what I'm saying? It's a hell of a, you know, a way to go. So that morning, I heard him get up at, you know, get up out of the bed, get ready, you know, brush his teeth, you know, getting ready and doing his manly thingies, homework. And I didn't get up. Usually, sometimes I get up and we just be chit chatting. And most of the time, guys, you know, I be sleep sometimes. But usually, he always come and give me a kiss and, you know, and whatnot. And for some reason that morning, I just felt like he was moving super slow. Now, I was, I like to call it, well, we like to call it hovering sleep. Meaning, I wasn't all the way asleep and I wasn't all the way awake. But I could definitely hear him moving around and I knew it was him. When you're with someone that long, we've been together, what, six years? 2019, of February, February of 2019, it'll be seven years for us but yeah anyway you kind of learn your partner but um yeah uh he uh for some reason that morning i just felt like he was taking a long time to get ready i just didn't say anything to him and i was like damn he just he moving crazy slow this morning like what he got going on so and i felt him sitting on the end of the bed just sitting there sitting there sitting there and then I, you know, he was moving around, getting ready, and then eventually he left. But before he left, he was, I just felt like, I felt like he was just, I felt like he was tired. He just probably didn't want to go to work, but he did. Now, fast forward a little bit, later on, he was like, uh, for some reason that morning, he did not want to go to work. It was like his like, inner voice was like, don't go, you should stay home. But he went anyway. But, um... So he left, he, and he left at about, that morning it was about, I want to say 340-ish, something, and to, with, for him, that's super late. You have to clock in at a certain time at any job, and it already takes him an hour to get there, so he was running crazy late. So he left, and I remember sitting, I was, I opened up my eyes, because I heard him shut our front door, and, you know, lock it and leave. So I was like, hmm. So eventually I drifted off back to sleep. And it couldn't have been long because I got up. I woke up again. And I felt like this. And it's going to be TMI all throughout this video, honey. I'm going to tell you that. But I felt a, um, I was laying in the bed. I didn't sit up, but I woke up. And I felt like I had to use the bathroom. So I was like, I mean. I was sitting here laying in my bed debating with myself whether I'm going to use the bathroom or not. But then I felt like this kind of gushy, wet feeling down in the lady part region. So I was like, um, let me go, <laughs> let me go to the bathroom. So when I got up, I felt it like come out a little bit more. Like, oh shit, I'm pissing. <laughs> so I'm wobbling to my bathroom fast as I can. I'm sitting on the toilet, you know, handling business, using it. And the next thing you know, I looked down into my pants and they were wet. So, I got up and, you know, washed up and put on a, you know, clean, fresh pair of panties. So, I walked back to my uh, bed, got back in it. Because at this point, I'm like, I'm over it, I'm tired. So, I got back in the bed and I felt a little pain coming from, like, my lower back to the lower part of my stomach slash my lady part region. Like, damn, that hurt. And it was so noticeable because I literally said out loud, damn. That hurt. That hurt that time. I remember saying that hurt that time. So I laid in the bed, and this time, I was just wide awake. And I was like, man, I need to take my ass to sleep. I kept saying that, so I drifted off back to sleep. Now, all this is between uh, 4-ish, 4 o'clock in the morning-ish. And um, so I was like, um, damn, I, you know, I have to, you know, I have to go to sleep. So I drifted off. And, and it couldn't have been for long, and I could, I just know it couldn't have been a long sleep. Because, like I said, it was still in the, in the time of four, you know, in four o'clock in the morning region. So, I know I drifted off to sleep, and and something, that pain hit me again. And this time, I felt it in my fucking toenails, be Like, I felt that I popped up. This time, I sat up, and I felt that gushing, like, not, it wasn't gushing. Let me rephrase that word. It was not gushing out. It just felt like a, like, um, how can I say it without grossing y'all out? 
but it was like a, I felt something coming out. Damn it, that's what it is. So I set up. This time I set up in the bed, and I and I remember swinging my feet over to the floor. And when I usually I always had to put my hand behind me to get, you know, boost myself up to get up out of the bed. And when I put my hand behind me this time, I felt the bed and it was wet. So I turned off like, oh, bitch, no, I did not just piss the damn bed. I'm too old for this. So I got up and I felt it. And as I was getting up, I felt it coming out. I was like, oh, shit. So I went to the bathroom, used it again. Once again, washed up, changed into another pair of panties. So I came back to the bed. And at this time, it was still four something. It had to be about, um, I want to say around about this time. The second time I had to change panties was about 4.30 something. So I came back back to my bed and I just sat there and at this point the pain started to happen and when I tell you it was a little more frequent and it was definitely more intense do you guys hear me it was so freaking intense so oh my god I remember sitting in the bed and I was like oh my god I'm going to labor because the pain started coming out it was, I felt like it was no time in between. It was, it was like, not much. It was, I give it like a minute, like one minute in between. I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I started panicking. I was getting scared. So, as you can see, right there is the hallway. So, first person I called was my daughter. Her room is right, as you can see right here, my daughter's room is right there. So, I said, Halaya, and she didn't hear me. Usually, I only have to call her one time, and she come running. Oh. This camera's about to cut off, so I'm going to end the video right here. Now, you got to stay tuned for part two. So, don't forget, I'm going to upload this video today. So, peace, and I'm going to get ready to record part two. We'll be back. I'll, I'll start off where I left off. Bye.